And now, the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. It's the bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. Hi, I'm Dan Soder. That's Big J Okerson. Hi, he's right. Hey, right hey. over there. Hey, it's me. Hey. From before, remember? Um, we're live on a Tuesday, and Lou Witzke won't go smoke a fucking cigarette, even we though we're telling Lou. him to. Lou. He didn't get a smoke break because we were doing the lost tapes, and Black Lou saying he could run the board, but fucking Lou What's Witzke. What's wrong? You don't want Black Lou's corn chip fingers all over your board? Whoa. You Watch it, bro. I'm a Fritos fan. You're going to fucking have to fight me. <laughs> what does corn chip fingers mean? A, I like Fritos. That's a really deep racist. Let's stop watching it right there. That's not racist. That's just against corn chips. <laughs> I like corn chips. I don't like Jay right now. What? I love, what did I do? I love original flavored Fritos. Who doesn't? Fritos? Come on. Thank you. But when you're done eating them, doesn't we just it feel bring like, up every day of the week. We just bring up another food. Doesn't Who's it going? feel like though when you're done eating Fritos, even if you eat the small little, yeah, you know, kids' lunch size bag, does don't you feel like there's a weird coating of oil that grease that runs down your th- like yeah. the tongue to your throat? <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm talking about, like, dude. You, I had it on the was fingers. Like, you must breathe salty. I feel like grease are covering your fingerprints. It's the perfect time to lift an art piece. Is after you've eaten a bag of Fritos. <laughs> if you're a jewel or an art thief, eat Fritos, and then they'll just cover your fingerprints. And in... oh, it's like slick. I love it. Hey, Jacob. Good news. We're doing food again. He hates uh, it. Jacob hates food. What do you say in the meeting? What do you say in the meeting, Lou? <laughs> nothing. Nothing. What do you say in the meeting? What? Nothing. He didn't say anything. What would you say, Lou? No, what do you say in the meeting? I'm you just saying we, t- we talked about food yesterday, so that I was that's just... why I was joking around. I said every day we just bring up a food topic. I know. That's why I went with you. I mean, what we're, happened? Gonna, we're gonna go with pity sex. Are, do you like our food conversation yesterday, Jacob? I did. What was the problem? Oh, I'm I sorry. Just thought it went... I'm sorry it's not all fucking bean sprouts and fucking kale, talk. kale, dickhead. Yeah, maybe if I want to do green juice hour. I'm oh, sorry I'm fucking... on a diet. I want to look at pictures of fucking Arby's roast beef. Uh, and Jacob, please, a little respect. I'm 790 pounds now. Wow. Wow, Jacob. Nice personality. Fat you should get a job telling terminally ill kids that they're terminally ill. Yeah, how about you go into the... How about you follow all the NFL players and meet them and go, you won't be here for this next season. They're like, life is fun. He's like, well, enjoy it while you can. Hey, you don't, you don't think it's kind of fucked up that God put you on the earth for two and a half years? I mean, you can barely walk. <laughs> uh, uh, Jacob just cold. Jacob just goes and heckles St. Jude. <laughs> <laughs> nice schmata, kid. Um... <laughs> oh, dude, it's so funny when you look down and you're like, oh, yeah, that, that's the first question of the day. Yeah. Why? You wanted to talk about pity fucks. Well, I think this is a fun... Let me get to the call screen. Because I think this is a fun uh, caller thing for all of us. Oh, God damn it. Black Lou, I'm not signed in again. Now. See? I mean, I, I'm, not, I'm just going to say With it. With their fucking after work Brazilian steakhouse energy. What? You know, the people here before us. We don't talk about them anymore. Oh, yeah. Human resources has reached out. Oh, yeah. Out Left-wing politics know. with Tattletail and the gang. <laughs> Tattletail and the, Tattletale and the gang. That's going to be the name for that show. <laughs> I mean, how we walk away from that perfect fucking name for that show now. Tattletale. Political bullshit with Tattletail and the gang. Dude, Tattletail and the gang. <laughs> I love... I love you. Hey, I love you too, buddy. But you wanted to bring up what, why, how did you get to pity fuck? Well, me and Christine, in a conversation last night. Sure. Just talking to people about things, about my insecurities on my looks that be, just always being, conf- not confused, but like if a, if a pretty girl wants to fuck me, I'm always still kind of questioning. I'm like, is it just because of like a thing that's not like they are... I want them to be attracted to me to want to fuck me. Does that make sense? Like, physically. Yeah. And I have very low self-opinion of myself uh, physically. Well, I think you need to stop that. I know, and I'm sure. Welcome to Absolutely. Motivational Tuesday. Dude, we get Jay out of There's people his- with all kinds of fucked up things that are far worse. I get it. So I'm not I'm not looking for uh, you know any boohoo sympathy. My point just being my concern is I feel like I'd be very sensitive to and had probably, probably stopped or didn't go through with fucking in my life at times because I was like the temperature of this seems to me like it's very uh, like she's doing this because it's like well I don't want to send them home without doing this or wait and you're talking about now are you talking about from a date or are you talking about like a party you it's usually hook, a hookup stuff it's, it's a hookup so hook you're up. so you start hooking up immediately well, why would you think she wouldn't want to hook up with you if, if she already started hooking up with you clearly she finds you attractive enough to put her mouth on you you think sometimes a chick is like a 
as I'm sure some people think about me or whatever, is a dead light or you're a bad at that night. You know what I mean? You don't bring yeah, your performance. If a girl, if I feel like she's underperforming, I'm like, it's because she's just like whatever. But, but then I'm, like, I'm such an insecure psycho. If she's overperforming, yeah. I'm also going like, she's trying to make me finish quick so I get the fuck out of here. Cause I get that. Afrin. Yeah. Or just taking wax at Afrin. This whole fucking room's falling apart, I'm Jacob. zipped up. Everyone's getting zooted. Lou didn't get his cigarette. Black Lou's fucking repping Pyru. I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's going full red, all red, and a red bandana. Um, but the idea that, and, and I know I have definitely. Now here's the thing. I think from a guy's perspective, thank you. From a guy's perspective, it's a lot less like jarring, maybe on your spirit. What to say? Oh, to, to do it, to have a pity fuck, to do. I don't know if it's. Have it, you pity fucked a woman? For sure. Yeah. Like absolutely. where you're just like. You're welcome. <laughs> How do you, is that what you say when you come? No, because like, <gasps> that, that, that I think I'm a prize. I, I would say pity fuck in the sense that it's like the reason it happened is because she was definitely super into it. And yeah. I was like, oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah, That's a lot more. I think that's a lot more common. And I think people don't <clears throat> necessarily think of it as a pity fuck. But it is one of the things where. But I don't like being it on the other end at all. Myself. I mean, I, I'll tell you this. Me both so sides are horrible. I'm but being pity fucked. When you're fucked out of pity, that is a uh, oh boy, that's a tough one. I had that one uh, multiple times. Had it multiple times. I had a girl in. I had a friend of my friend's girlfriend who just pity fucked me. Like yeah. she was like, "All right, you're here," and I'm kind of like, first off, in my mind, I'm almost after. I mean, I was drunk, and we were like 19 or 20 or whatever. But in my mind, I'm like, so psychologically. You're just kind of like, well, you're here. You got to fuck. <laughs> like, we don't have, we, there was no rule. You weren't just like, hey, well, we're going to hang out while they go fuck. It was just like, so then I got in my head about that, and that kind of ruined it. Because I'm like, Dude. but it was clearly like her being like, oh. Oh, yeah. I hooked up with a chick next to Vecchione once. Who yeah. Defi- who definitely, it was like a, well, I don't know. It's six in the morning, I guess. Sure. <laughs> like, I mean, that's yeah. why I felt her vibe was on oh. it. And I, and I just didn't. And when it was over, it was just like, eh. Just You're almost like. It would be better to not. It just wouldn't have been, it wouldn't have been that great. It's weird because after a pity sex, it's. Talking to them is almost like you're starting the conversation from anew again. After you fuck, you go, hi. Oh, hey. So. Oh, man. And then the, the empty balls reaction to that. Yeah. Yeah, um, it's not good. It's Christine, is female back. coming sobering? Yeah. To your ideas, is it decision making like a, like a, like a, like men? Uh, I think yeah, I think it's why I like I never really tried the couple times I like did come during sex. Like it would be very like whoa, gotta go, gotta get out of here. Really, you there have the bail feet. You guys have the ejection button too. Yeah, and there's something about not coming where it's like you at least you're always kind of like on a high. Like you don't yeah. have that yeah. sobering release. Of- I learned later in my life to delay the orgasm if it was like a fucking hookup, so that way I wasn't immediately like, I got eight more hours! What do I do? You know, when you're stuck. Make, I've the, seen it with make guys them too. come first always. always. Yeah, but guys also like think that they, like, when they're in it and they're like about to, they're like, no, I can come and then I'll come again. Oh, but it's dude, like, it's then great. guys come and they're like, oh, well, gotta go. Dude, I, <laughs> you know how many times in my life I've been like, well, Fuck all night, and then you come once, and you go. I have to leave. I am good. <laughs> you, when you, uh, men with full balls, really is divorced dad mentality, where they're like, <laughs> "Buddy, I'm not. You're not going to notice I'm not there." And then you come, and you're like, "Yeah, I'm not going to drive across town to see some kid I don't live with." <laughs> <laughs> really, I get it. I get divorced dads because I've I've said to Christine many, many, many times. We even said I I don't think my dad necessarily had a bad heart. I think I, he was young. Other shit was going on. Somebody was taking care of it for him. Dude, my, like, sweet. Dude, Trish was all over it. So Gary in San Francisco was like, dude, this is good. It's Niner season coming up. I ain't going to go visit the kid. Yeah, carve out a couple days a year to see him. Trust me, that bitch. Would... I... Oh, sorry. What were you going to say? I just legitimately think my dad was thought that because I was like an overweight girl, he didn't have to worry about me like that. Uh, you're a house really plant? I legitimately just... think that he was like, ah, nobody's going to try to fuck her. He goes, she's fat. I got to give her water, some bread. Oh, she's yeah. cool. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. That bundle of wine upstairs? But, no, she's good. But back to the hooking up thing, because it really is a thing where I've been so horny that you're just like, you know what makes it worse is text. Because then you can be like, you have no idea. You know, when you say it, when you say it to him, it almost kind of goes away. But when you text, like, I'm going to fuck you all night. We're not even going to sleep. And then you fuck for 15 minutes and you come and you're like, do you, um, are you watching Wild Wild Country? <laughs> I've promised. What episode are you I've on? promised in my life that I can recover and go immediately. Oh, dude. 
That is the fucking. I'm like a. I local, always would go. I always go. That's the thing with me. Yeah, dude. I'm like a car salesman. I go. Not only will I come, I'll come again. I uh, never do. <laughs> Let me tell you this right now. It's a one act play. <laughs> it's fucking, I come and then I'm like, I hope you like voices. <laughs> yeah, cause, cause I'm gonna, I'll give you one in the morning. I'll give you one in the morning, but it's just like uh, fucking. Yeah, yeah. It's like buying su- uh, It's like buying uh, pseudo Cedrin. You have to fucking sign up. After I come, dude, I'm wearing sweatpants before the word sandwich gets out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> dude, the best is like I've been with women who are like you. You promise it to them, and to no fault of their own, they thought they were being uh, gonna get fucked all night. So when you come, and then they're like, "You want to fuck me again?" You're like, "Do you want to pick up the cum off the ground and put it back in my dick?" Because. <laughs> Uh, yes, there's oh, yes, oh, fucking... do, do you have a time machine, a tiny little purse? Because <laughs> I am literally spacing on your first name right now. <laughs> I'm already and, calling an Uber. <laughs> yeah, I am in week 14 of a Madden season, so the playoffs are near. <laughs> so, um, do you like football? It's like watching a real game. <laughs> yeah. uh, do you like football? I hope none of our callers uh, hang up at all. These are all ones I want to hear. But I, I want to, exp- as I'm seeing some of the of Black Lou's notes here on them, I want to say, I, I want to talk first. Is there a difference? We should throw this to the room here. For guys, I want them to understand when they call in with their stories. And we have Dana from Maryland who's going to talk at some point female perspective, which I want several female perspectives on this completely. But uh, for the guys, I don't know if I call it pity fucking if you're horny and you swing low for like, well, this girl. No, never, that that's, is not a hor- that's not a I'm pity talking fuck. about that's a, a girl horny. who wants to fuck you really bad. And you don't want to fuck her. And you don't want to fuck her, but you're like, Dude, I'm going to fuck a her. Girl, there was a girl that I really wanted to fuck when I lived in Tucson. I really wanted to fuck her. And uh, my friend introduced my friend, my roommate, his girlfriend, brought over a group of girls. And one girl there, I was like, I I will bite my... I'll, you know how I know your stories now? I just want you to know how much I'm getting to know you. Just want, yeah. Uh, how you're my brother. Yeah. Is that I know the Arizona stories now. I keep them in track because you say my friend, and it's what they were. Roommate, guy I worked with, guy yeah. at the radio station, college guy. Denver, it's all last names that make me laugh every single time. <laughs> yeah, Arizona. Well, you. what's weird is- Oh, well, me, Moochie, and Fartbox. We're go- First off, it's not Fartbox. It's Fujack. And that's actually- And here's a little cool reveal for you. He was the roommate. He was the roommate I lived with. I lived with him. Fartbox and Beret. Fart- Garrett, yeah, Garrett, Fartbox. I'm going to start calling him Fartbox and Beret. <laughs> if they don't think that they're getting changed in my phone to Fartbox and oh, Beret. Fartbox and Beret. Dude, Beret. Uh, bro, dude, oh, I love that. <laughs> That's sticking. But I, I lived with... Fujak was the one who got the girl that I wanted to fuck. Uh, our, our roommate and one of our friend Chad that we grew up with. Chad's not Fujak as Fujak had a great body, though, always. Dude, he you always does. Fujak. It's he classic does. Fujak. He does. And by the way, he's tall, long, brown hair, better body. Way better body. Fuck yeah. Grew great fucking beard hair early. Dude. <laughs> You're nailing it. He's quiet. Yeah. And I'll tell you this. It wasn't all wispy on the sides like my Kiss, fucking queefy ass Asian old man face kissable, hair. Kissable lips. Big plump lips. Oh, I bet, dude. He yeah. was good to go. Born he was good it. to go. Fujak? Uh, fart box? Oh, Fujak. Come, <laughs> fart box comes from a long <laughs> line of dick layers. Uh, he's in the Dead Dad Club, too. So we're all there. <laughs> oh, fart box? Yeah, fart box is in Dead oh, Dad yeah. Club. So our friend uh, Chad's girlfriend invites over these girls that she works with. And one of them, I'm like, I want to fuck you so bad. I'm going crazy. Brunette, giant boobs. Some she had big boobs. boobs. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I like boobs. I guess that's why I always like big boobs. <laughs> but she, um, I like hit on her. You know when you over over hit on where you get too excited about someone and then you're just unappealing to them where you're like, how can I get you? What can I get you? A beer? And Jacob's nodding his head <laughs> out of recognition where he was just like, yes. He's <laughs> like, yes, I know exactly what you're talking about. But you, oh, know yeah. what I, you know what I mean, right? I think I made that porn star last it's night. Like my, the- my microphone for everything I said. Yeah. <laughs> You cringe how uncool you were after you leave. Oh, like, dude, oh I God, overshot. I uh, Sarah McPants says the ejection button is most notable when you watch a video, and as soon as you're done, it's like, ew, what's wrong with me? That's shame. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's almost a hack, like, stand-up joke at this yeah. point. It is really true. Although, I think I'm past that now. I've gotten really good at swatting it away immediately, like come and swat, where I'm like, oh, yeah! <laughs> and then I'm just looking at a fucking calendar, an eye calendar. Oh, like, I mean, yeah, I almost have, like, a sweet one motion of, like, uh, 
of like hanging a rope and then just sliding through, as DDP would say in DDP yoga, and right back on my belly for some NBA. Oh, dude, that's pretty solid. That's all one fluid moment. Anyways, I was hitting on this girl and clearly was I, I was too excited. Uh, I was her beer pong partner. I was, you know, as a club. Well, yes, we're doing so good together. We're a pretty great team, right? We're a pretty great team. You like titty fucking? Okay, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> but I, so she ended up uh, liking fart box. So fart box. box. So then fart box starts hanging out with her. And so I'm, I'm like, ah, shit, whatever. The next weekend she comes over with a friend and we're all drinking or whatever. And her friend really, it's, that was the pity fuck. We're like her friend. The reason I bring the story up is her friend really wanted to bang me. And I was like, uh, yeah, okay. You know, she like, was not attractive. She was cute ish. She was cute ish. Uh, she was giving me a blowjob and I reached over to my side, to my side table. This is how much I wasn't into it. And I grabbed a bottle of water and I did the cap with my finger, like, <laughs> and I, like was rubbing her back as she blew me and I was doing the cap. And then I, I was like, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. She stopped sucking my dick and she goes, did you just fucking drink that water? And I was like, yeah. yeah. He's dehydrated. It's like, oh, yeah. Got a wet mouth. Want me to spit in your mouth? <laughs> dirty pig. But that was that was like that's the time when you bring up that example. That I think that's the example is when that like that was a pity fuck. Like that she girl, really wanted to fuck you, and okay, she yes. and like she had gotten fart box in the in the girl alley that I wanted to fuck to be like you. She, she's like really into you. Like, you, really into in you. In your overexcitement, were you really selling fart box to the girl you wanted to fuck unwittingly? I've done I, that before. I don't think so. I've told a girl I wanted to fuck so much about fart my box. awesomer friends. <laughs> so I'm sorry. <laughs> fart box. Oh, about so your awesomer awesome. friends? I think he does seem pretty cool. I'm like, he's the best guy ever. Sh Sean? Uh, he's the guy like a brother to me. Standing backflip. If, I was, a, if I was a woman, we would just be together, me and him. <laughs> and by the way, anyway, what's up with you later? Can I say this? We skinny dip a lot. Your... And he's fucking, he is gifted. Yeah, if it's you know like so I mean. crazy. It's like, how can we be so close and our dicks are so different it's so weird because this is so thick but also long where it all looks perfect yeah. anyways uh you, you want me to give you a ride home i think he's a condom model yeah it's crazy because i've also heard that when he comes there's no mess it's just powder <laughs> <laughs> i heard it's like it's a clear powder. fluid to drink. <laughs> it's like it's like hair gel like legit though you know how they did that something about mary but that's like based off him because that's like a real thing he comes carmex it's really weird. It's not even a big deal. Do you like Nutella? He just leaks Nutella. <laughs> it comes, he's like hazelnut. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's the worst. And women must have it all the time because uh, you guys are, you women are much more in the secret about the shade that you throw on your friends. If one of you, like, I was mad at Fart Box, but then I was also like, at least I might see some, I might get some stories. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Ooh, fart box. Ow. Well, cause but by the way, you want to know the beauty in it? This was in, still during MySpace th days. She put him in his top, her top eight. She made him wait for sex. He never fucked her. I win! Yeah! Per Danny Sos won. Fart box. <laughs> Eat that fart box. By the way, so fart, fart box is coming with me to Sweden. Go cry into Beret's shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> Um, well, we have a caller from Denver who I, w I want to address him before we go to our first break. I was going to start doing the calls after the break, I thought, but I want to take it. I want to make sure this is why I said the thing about pity fuck for guys has yeah. to be classified. Not as I'm not talking about four in the morning. Oh, yeah. Trying to fuck where you're just like, I'll fuck any. I'm ready to yeah. just fucking dump one out. Uh, like not thinking clear at all. I'm talking about a girl, you know, what's fucking yeah. you're like, I'll fuck your dumb friend or whatever. Yeah, you know, yeah, whatever yeah. The fucking weird thing is. Uh, Mike in Denver. Wait, you're from Denver. What's your last name, Mike? Is this fart box? Uh, Edelman. What? Edelman. Edelman! Edelman! What part of Denver are you from? Uh, Thornton. Oh, Thornton. All right, I get it. What does that mean? Uh, yeah. It's outside of Denver. Is that Denver. a Jewish last name and... Is that wealthy, Edelman? No, Thornton? Thornton's not wealthy. Thornton? <laughs> no, Thornton's not <laughs> no. like... No. How about Thornton from Edelman? Is he wealthy? Thornton, <laughs> Edelman, Thor Thornton, Edelman. <laughs> uh, of course, it's Thornton, Edelman. You say here guys pity fuck more than girls, but are you talking about the way I'm saying? You, you mean guys just have lower standards at different times than girls have? No, I'm at, like, I've been in the season. I'm really worried a girl will think she's not attractive if I don't want to fuck. Oh, you, oh, wow, you're that, you're that nice. You go, no, 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 no. <laughs> Some land monsters is like, hey, give me that cock. And he goes, I don't want her to feel bad. I got to fuck her. So when a girl, when any, 
awful looking woman or just not even awful just something you did not want to fuck at all a pro, you get the vibe they want to fuck you you're like I just do it well I, I've been single so I've been dating more and every once in a while they're not what you think they are but I feel like they're not gross but I don't really want to fuck them but I feel like they're gonna think I think they're gross you think it's because are these girls who in the world a lot of people go they're gross <laughs> She had big no, boobs. No, not necessarily. I think I'm a bit of a dickhead, but it's just like I meet them online. So, oh, and so you're saying you meet them online, and when you meet them in person, you're worried that they're gonna, if you don't fuck them or try to fuck them, that they're going to think they're ugly. Kind of, but like I, I there's no way a woman like would I ever do. A them. woman would be put herself in so much danger if she felt that way. What? She goes, I can't walk this guy away. I think he's ugly. And what's your concern of the domino effect of her feeling that feeling? Do you know what I mean? Because like, to me, it's, that seems it's so weirdly to be outward. Mine's all the reflection back to me. You know what yeah. I mean? Well, the first girlfriend I was ever serious with had like a, an eating disorder, so I think that's where I get from like being terrified that. They're going to uh, oh, go okay. home and cry. Yeah, you're worried that you're you're doing damage that you're not seeing. How is her body, though? Tight, right? Oh, dude, it does rib cage, tight, for, right? rib, rib cage for days, oh, right? Shit, tight, right? <laughs> Fuck, it's just shred Parmesan you see, on that thing. <laughs> see the outline of the top of your helmet going under her belly button when you plop it in there? I know what we're talking about. Oh, you're giving her snake dick. Oh, I'll fucking dabble in the <laughs> bulimia bowl once in a while. <laughs> fucking check out a chick who likes to throw it up afterwards. I'm more <laughs> anorexic. I don't want the food to be around, nor do I like the barf breath. <laughs> Hey, you want to have Wendy's? Go purge it out and then fucking fly in 69 in a Ramada How in. fucked up would it be if you were a guy with an eating disorder fetish? <laughs> there's, uh, well, there's that guy on Stern, right? The Jeff the Vomit guy. That, oh. that eating disorder fetish, but he likes to be puked on. Oh, yeah, odd. that's different. That is odd. Yeah, anytime, um, but I get what you're saying because if you've been with a woman with an eating disorder, you really do worry about how they're affected, you know, kind of by what you do because they can't, they are. So it's really that magnanimous. Like you're like, if I don't at least try to throw this girl a dick, she's going to go home and like slit her, like, like cut herself or yeah. fucking puke. Do you, do you have a history of cutting? I'll give you this dick. <laughs> I, that's what I want to start telling. That's what I would love to tell. I wish I was single at least so I could tell a girl on a date. I'm like, look. I'll, I'll fuck you tonight. You don't have to go home and puke or do whatever it is you fucking do. You weirdo. <laughs> she goes, she's on her phone. I go, shh, 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 shh. Hey, I'll give you the dick. <laughs> you don't have to go home. Sad, don't do anything crazy. Dude, how crazy would that be? She's like, I was going to go meet up my friends for another drink after this. She goes, I, was about I to split. have to work. He goes, ah, tss, tss, come on. Tss, tss, come on. Tss, hey, 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 Brittany. Stop. Eye to eye. Look at me. Come hey, on, stop it. Hey, you're worthy of this dick. <laughs> okay? Come okay? On. Come on. You can bury your head in your phone all you want. <laughs> you know, I know. You don't have to go home and, and open your veins. I'm right you here. You made me feel she's like, like a loser. She's like, you're my fifth person on a speed date night here. She goes, like, literally, I have to go. Pa, 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 you get the dick. I'm going to give you the offer that everyone gets. You can have it. You hear this? You hear this? That's me. That's me hitting it under the table. You go, is that a ghost? You hear that? Is that? Was that a boy that died in the basement? Or yeah. is that me? Let me see. That's me. Can, let me see. Wait, if I can harness it, I can sometimes lift the table a little bit. And you go, uh, I think I just tore, tore a dick tendon. Go! <laughs> oh, God, the base went numb. The base went numb. Is that a thing? Is that a thing? Is any speed daters a doctor? Oh, God. Is this a thing? I can't feel just the base. Uh, is my sack detached? I think I just... <laughs> Did I pull a nut? Goes, Did I pull a nut? Time, he goes, it's calling time out. Time out, time out, time out. Time out, time out. Like, I'm out. sorry, I gotta go to the next thing. No, 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 time out. Time hey, out. The clock's gotta stop. Oh, it hurts oh. so weird. Does it go away? Oh, why did I try to do the table trick five times in a row? Oh, God, I got greedy. I got Dan greedy. told me not every girl is impressed uh, by the dick table lift. No, no levitation. No more levitation. Um, hey, you a Chris Angel fan? Ooh, it only works with thin TV trays. Have to kind of sit and squat. Dollar store TV trays. <laughs> I need real cheap TV trays. This is where the thing just flaps on top of a crossbar of shitty tin. One of those. Hell but the yeah. audience doesn't know. Hell I'll fucking yeah. launch it in the air with my phone. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yep. Let's take our first break. Uh, we're caught. We're talking pity fucks. Oh, we and- got great, great calls uh, lined up. We a lot, of, very guy heavy. I want to hear more because women. I think I think women probably do this more. Yeah. But Mike says no. But then again, you know, Mike's a do. He's a do gooder. He is a do gooder. He's a bit of a do gooder. It's not fart box.
I bet he raises an American flag on his front lawn every day, and he fucks any girl he goes, Hi. he thinks needs the confidence to know. I'm Mike from Thornton. That fucking Edelman from Thornton? Edelman from Thornton? Oh, you walk away? You're going to walk away with a parting gift of dick. It's a fuck, yeah, oh, yeah, it's a Thornton. That's a Thornton birthright. Oh, you got a Thornton goodbye? <laughs> that's a good old Thornton goodbye. If you if worried you're ugly so you could fuck. He goes, you know you fuck it if he shows you his collection of uh, pictures, Polaroids he's taken with local Denver celebrities. Oh, my God. Jake Jabs from America's Furniture Warehouse? Oh, how is that? Oh, what? Oh, my God. Is that Ed McCaffrey? <laughs> and that's uh, Ed McCaffrey right there. Yeah. He go, oh, Wellington Webb, former mayor? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Man, I met him at a, it was a weird, it was like a beef and beer. <laughs> I, uh, Beef and beers are two East Coast. We're mountain people. Oh, we do buffalo burgers. <laughs> it was a buffalo burger contest. <laughs> yeah. We'll be right back. It's the bonfire. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Well, DJ Lou and Christine have their hands on each other's inner thighs playing that old camp mm, trust me game. Yeah. Sade always does that to everybody. It's the Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm Dan Soder. That's Big J Okerson, who's going to be at Zany's in Nashville, Friday and Saturday. I was just going to start talking to you, and then you put all the plugs. You're That's like, Big J Okerson. Who's got a little thing going on in a city called Nashville? Yeah, we got tone change. She's going to be at Zany's in Nashville, Friday and Saturday. That's this week. So go get tickets, and then after that, you can catch them at Hilarities in Cleveland, April 26th through the 28th. And then the first weekend of May, he's going to be at Caroline's on Broadway in New York City. So if you're in the tri-state area, make sure to go to that. For tickets and all other tour dates, go to BigJComedy.com. I think also Zane, I think Zany's is just the late shows I'm doing. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. So it's, it's only one show a night. So one show a night, up. so sell it the fuck out. Yeah, let's fill it up. Come on, everybody. I know it's we a lot of fun. Great hotel. It's a great hotel. It's a great club, man. And that's just talent. Have a blast. Awesome. Love it. It's uh, lit. It is lit, Roman. And Hi. is going to be at Helium in Buffalo. Oh. Screw you, dads! Get your tickets now. Helium, Buffalo, New York. Are you ready? April 5th through Saturday, April 7th. Dead, dead jokes. At the Voices. End, at the end of April, you can catch him at the Rhode Island Comedy Connection. Oh, I thought you were going to say more. <laughs> oh. Awesome one. Fire. Yeah. <laughs> Justin Silver. Gunshots. And Cabot Comedy Club in Massachusetts. Danger. Get your tickets for the wild, wild times at DanSoder. Dot, 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 com. Going fast. Because I'm TNT. Also, check us out at the Moon Tower Festival. Fuck it, you're right. April, I'm so uh, excited to eat that week. It's going to be very, very fun. Uh, we're at Antone's again, April 20th, Barbecue, correct? Cisco's. Cisco's, that's what Christine keeps trying to remember. Fuck yeah. Uh, season three of Billions happening right now. So much fun stuff. Uh, check that out. Dan is fucking awesome on You're it. You're awesome, dude. Uh, and the brand new Las Vegas Comedy Cellar open starting this week, April 5th, this weekend. Skank Fest happening this yeah, summer. Yeah, uh, July 14th and 15th. Badges uh, available. Available now for pre-sale, which is cheaper. We have no lineup announcements yet, but trust me, if you've been to a Skank Fest before, it's going to be It's fucking, it's going to be well worth. It's going to be It's going to be the greatest time in your fucking life. Luis J. Gomez guarantees that with a full money back guarantee. Yeah. I, uh, that's not true. I, uh, do I have a disclaimer that? Probably, right? Yeah, why not? And also, uh, when you were sending in your submissions, which I hope they keep coming in, we need some more. Coming we need more. in. We got a decent Jay? amount, but what we're trying to do. What? Coming in. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is why we have a show. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Pete Wentz gets it. Uh, hey, Dan, you uh, you uh, fucked up my announcement. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you uh, just plow ahead? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, on the guess what's playing in the background on TV while we're fucking game, mm-hmm. uh, we need you to send them the the whatever you want us to hear in the background, the TV show, the movie, whatever it is, has to be playing pretty loud. Yeah. But we want the fucking to, to hit it over a little bit. You want to, you want to be confusing. That's what makes it hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the puzzle of it. And uh, but Jacob's saying also what he forgot when he put this out, and we all did. 
was that you have to tell Jacob in the email at least what the answer to the thing is, or we're never going to know if we're right. That would be great. Um, just, air wolf. Air, air, air oh, wolf. Please, someone fuck to air wolf. Air wolf. Please, just find air a wolf. clip on YouTube and air fuck wolf. to it. Just... Oh, Vardis Borgnon blowing up? <gasps> That'd be great because it would be great to find to guess the clip and then to watch Jacob's face get mad. None of you are going to guess it. So I don't How do you know that? Were you a fan like me? I mean, dude, I don't think I was born when it was out. <laughs> all right. When was it? 86? <laughs> are you a JMV fan all the way like me? Because you got a jacket? How deep you willing to go? He co star he guest starred on two episodes of Love Boat. Do you have an airwolf bed? <laughs> you go to Jacob's apartment? It's an attack copter? You have a helicopter bed? Oh, 84, 86. If you want to count 86, sure. Oh, you oh. fucking... Shots nail, fired. Nails are Shots out. fired. If they did a reboot... Which they will. And I was involved, would you be upset? If I played <laughs> Santini <No>. Air? <laughs> you played Dom? If you played Dom? Yeah, if I played Dom? Dom. <laughs> I think Jacob would be so excited <laughs> if you <laughs> were an airwolf. I would. <laughs> Just put it Please together. Be a PA put it... and just hang on the. Hell yeah, dude! We'll put it out in the universe. Can I'll be I come involved. on set? I'll be involved with the Airwolf reboot. I have a oh, yeah, hell yeah! I'll go <laughs> to the ground level. That <laughs> I, uh... Jay and I, dude, what if Jay and I are on Airwolf together? We gotta make our production company name awesome, though. Oh yeah, Fart Box and Beret. Yeah, Fart Box and Beret. <laughs> a Fart Box and Beret per- Beret <laughs> production. Ooh, <laughs> ooh, wee wee. <laughs> Ooh wee wee! <laughs> yeah, that'd be our noise. That's our thing at the end. Yeah. Just us. Uh... Ooh la la! Ooh la la! Now, Dan, I want to. I know you don't look at the call screen. I don't, so I can look at you. Right. And here's. I want you to pick. We have two uh, female callers. Okay. I'm going to tell you what the notes say, and then I'm going to okay. tell you what my thought process in this. Okay. On, on how I'll let you pick. Okay. Uh, we have Jillian in LA who says she pity fucked someone, and she was pity fucked. And we have Dana Maryland who says uh, she has a female perspective of the pity fuck. Now, Maryland, Dana in Maryland might be a real relatable American story. Mm-hmm. I worry that Jillian in LA. This is only from living with a California Christine, uh, Christine who uh, oh, Pacific Christine, yeah, w- with a California Christine is. I think Christine will back this up. Jillian. We might not be able to tell much from her story. I worry about not being able to tell much from her story because being p- super hot chicks get pity fucked in L.A. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. of, it's L.A. I think yeah. that's regionally. It's a very. Sexy, she might see, she might say I was pity city. fucked, but it might not be a pity fuck where you're like. like I, well, I'm saying when I think someone's pity fucking me, I'm like I'm like in there. What I'm picturing in their head is like. Ugh. This fat guy, something sweaty or something, just something, you know what I mean? I, you know, I, of course I had to have him go down on me. It was like an anvil trapping my hips. <laughs> me? I'm like, <laughs> I'm put my forehead on her hips. She goes, I can't move. I can't move. I can't move. <laughs> you, when Dan goes down on you, you're like Sato on Karate Kid 2. You got Mr. Miyagi come fucking karate chop his head in half to get free. In, in a rainstorm. <laughs> she's like, and she's like, oh my God, thank you so much. He goes, no problem, old friend. Old friend. <laughs> you got your pussy licked, old friend. Let it roll for a minute, Lou. God damn, I love Peter Cetera. Sato. 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 I give, I give that Sato head. <laughs> oh, you, well, yeah, while you're doing your pussy, she keeps calling you a coward. You come do this when you coward. Yeah, I go, All right, hold on. <laughs> She's like, you sure you're into this? I'm like, I'm wearing the headband, aren't I? <laughs> I'm wearing the fucking headband. I made the tea. <laughs> I mean, oh, wait, hold on. Here it comes. Wait, no, it's not yet. But don't worry, it's coming. Oh. Sometimes <sighs> I just forget. I mean, the guy's an angel. Who you grabbed? It breaks my heart to see you I hate this bike. I hate this bike. I hate this freaking bike. I don't want to lose you. Oh, here I am. On. Everyone in this room, yeah. and in your cars. I am a man who will. Still just me, huh? Yeah. I don't like singing. Wow. I like to lip sync. Jillian like, or Dana Dan? I like, that was embarrassing. I I'm like uncomfortable it. now. <laughs> <laughs> I said, everyone in the room and in your cars. I thought I'd at least get the room. <laughs> 
No one fucking pity sang along with me. No, I went like this. Mm, I'm a lip sync. I did, but I didn't turn my mic on. Sorry. Oh, I had a mic right in my mouth. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, my God. Um, by the way, Cobra Kai, the YouTube series, coming out soon. Can't yeah. wait. Can't wait. Trailer's when does great. it come out? It's very soon. A couple days. A couple days? Yeah. Do you have YouTube red? No. I'm thinking about it, though. You want to split it? Watch Cobra Kai? <laughs> What's the... Oh, dude! Jacob, uh, Comedy Central. Sign up for a YouTube Rev account on their on their credit card. By the way, I still need money for the ghillie suits. Also, give me a six foot sub. <laughs> also, I want a van with carpet, carpet in it. <laughs> Leave me a van carpet and a wizard uh, holding a globe. But yeah. inside the globe is another picture of the wizard holding a globe. Also, tell Comedy Central I want a 15th century broadsword <laughs> <laughs> and uh, a football helmet full of cheese. That's from Airheads, but uh, I want a mosquito and amber. Yeah, I want. <laughs> but on the end of a cane, I want a cane. I want a cane with a mosquito and amber on the top. <laughs> yeah, and uh, an all white seersucker suit with a hat, where I can stand up and go. It's Jurassic Park. Uh, I want Tony Katane's original wardrobe from the film Bachelor Party. I want. I want a. Uh, I want an ounce of Rodney Dangerfield sweat. <laughs> Heard his ex wife selling it. I want a lock of Morgan Fairchild's hair. But for real, though, YouTube Red account so we can watch Cobra Kai. Just talk, you know, I'm sure Nikki Glazer, they probably already got her a Hulu account and a Netflix account. Oh, no, no shit. I bet they already had her fucking... I think they already worked out a TV deal for that TV, for that radio show. Yeah, they do have vid- a video element. No, Is that true? Tell me that's true right now, Jacob, and I swear to God, I'll walk off no, the no, show. No, if it's a... If it's not Jacob? set. I'm telling you, no. There's, they've uh, taped certain guests that have come in. Jacob. It's true. Is it... But there's a setup. There's a setup for cameras. Oh yeah, dude. Other thing. dude. Black Luke Look, could a set. A camera crew will come in for a specific guest. So you're saying none of our guests have been worth that? That's what you're saying to all our guests. So Red Man. Oh sorry. Hi, Dan Soder. You know, you know, you remember us from the bonfire. I'm sorry that Jacob doesn't think you're worthy of a cameraman. Oh, yeah. Hey, Sap Rocky. If you give me some, give me your ear for a second. In the middle of writing another top ten Billboard hit. Yeah. Uh, sorry, yeah. not worth cameras. Yeah. We didn't know we were getting him. Well, oh, you're right. Sorry, we knew Isabella was coming that day. Hey, hey, baby girl, Jacob thinks you're not worth filming on camera. <laughs> Good job, dude. Good no, nice. job. And she's at a fragile age. She's at a very fragile a age. Thing. She's 15 years old. That is hard. Come that is on, hard man. on everyone. Those are the fucking awkward years. And this is how you really ram it in her ass like this. <laughs> you're Good a monster, job. Jacob. Let's go to Dana in Maryland, who says she's fucked for sport and for pity. No, no, no. Dana Maryland just says the female perspective of the pity fuck. Dana, what's the female perspective? Yeah, so I think you're you might be uh, referring to uh, the other lady there, uh, Jillian. Yeah, no, I corrected him, Dana. <laughs> and Dana, just yeah, let me start yeah. by saying, by the way, I- I'll fuck. I want to fuck you. All right, so don't fucking okay. puke. And Dana, I'm going to tell uh, well, you. This. I'm not going to. I'm not going to puke. And <laughs> so, anytime you you need someone to text, I'm here for you. Oh, all um, right. Thanks, Dana. Okay. Dana, I like Dana. She, has, she has like shooting instructor energy. She goes, <laughs> "This is your nine millimeter. You will aim it down the range that way." <laughs> Do not, and I repeat this, do not turn around when you are on the range. <laughs> You're going to want to keep your eyes open. See? Gun open. Oh, that's ball. Now I really want to fuck her. That's Dundog. Now it ain't pity. Now I want to fuck her. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Get it in there. Hey. Is that as far back as it goes? Oh, we'll just we'll bang on a bed of uh, Utz potato chips. Hers. Oh, yeah. They, actually, uh, they, they're going to have to be crab chips. Yeah, hell yeah, I'll do crab chips. You Wait, man. you mean with the old bay on the chips? Yeah. Yeah. Hang up on yeah. it. No, don't. All right, don't. I, won't. I won't. She's amazing. I won't. She's everything I've ever wanted. <laughs> <laughs> no, you want a girl with old bay breath? <laughs> I know. Oh, God. You smell like the inside of a chip bag. Oh, if you fuck a girl who's eating old bay chips, no matter what, it's going to smell like Indian fucking in that house. Uh, I don't know why. That's how so, it turns to. Dana, what's your perspective on the pity fuck from a woman? Perspective. So, I mean, it's both ways. It's a lesson in, you know, empathy and even a pity fuck, even if it's kind of like bad weed, it's still pretty fucking good. So, you know. You've never had a pity fuck where you're like halfway through it, like this is not, I'm just doing this so this guy doesn't feel bad. Well, yeah, but then you kind of just don't let them reciprocate, I think, because then you have that like. What? You know, moral detachment where you can kind of just be like, oh, I did this nice thing and kind of like, um, I don't know, like a good service, like a good deed for someone else. Are you talking about like blowing you know? them, you mean? 
Uh, yeah, something like that. You know, whatever. A pity blowjob probably gets divvied out a lot more than a pity fuck. Hell yeah. I would probably say it's the dollar bill of the fucking pity I've fuck. I've probably accepted some, like, look, hmm. I, I, don't, I can't do that, or I can't go here, or whatever that is. I'll blow you. All right. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> as a guy, it's real hard if a girl goes, I, we're not going to fuck, but I'll suck your dick. For you to go, for you to go no. That's no. some level of pity on some degree. Hell yeah, it is. Or I've taken a hand job before where it's just like, I'll give Dude, you a hand job. I took a hand job once, and in the middle of it, I was like, we're going to be here for nine hours. Like, let's just forget it. <laughs> like, uh, it's fine. We can go home then. Go yeah, home. Like the cigar burn. But, oh, my God. Um, yeah. I feel like I was getting yeah, Indian burns on my dick. <laughs> hey, ow, ow. I grip. I like grip. Again, like that, you know, that's a definition of uh, male and female. So, like, you know, if I'm the one that's giving it and I'm not like that into it, I can still kind of work my way through it. But if but I'm, I'm saying, I think we can transition out of that. Yeah, we can kind of tell, though, when the girl's like, all right, here you go. That's what we're talking about. Is that pity? Like, there you go, fuck face. Well, how about all the nonverbal, though? If a girl starts blowing you like crazy great out awesome. of the gates. <laughs> Uh, are, do you ever feel like that? He goes, she wants me to come now because she doesn't want to actually fuck. <laughs> oh, oh no, no, no! I feel like uh, I feel like one of the I feel like the, uh, Kevin Bacon in the air up there. I'm like, oh, I can turn her into a legend. <laughs> How about finding out it's a pity blowjob uh, uh, when when you say the words? You know what I mean? You go, wait, stop, 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 stop! I'm, I'm gonna come, I'm gonna come, and they go, just come. And you're yeah. like, oh, you want me to get the fuck out of here? <laughs> you're sure you're or, ready to take the chop, so goes, I leave. Just do it. Yeah, Just, I definitely don't worry about giving anyone any sort of complex about that, but Well, that's fucking so funny. So you but if you want if your pity I bet a pity blow job is better than a lot of like let's get the party started we're going to fuck blow job. Hell yeah, it is cuz you know what it is? It's time sensitive. Well, it's all, they're, they're going to so go like, like I got to throw the ace. They're like the a dance instructor like 1 2 3 go. 1 Two, three, go. It's the late night TV set for a comedian. It really is. <laughs> uh, it's the late night blowjob. The blowjob's a five minute set. You get your killer five out. She goes, ah, anyways, it tells you a lot about who they are as a person. It tells you about their perspective. <laughs> she goes, come on my face real quick. You're like, I'm coming immediately. It's already happening. She goes, all right, thank you very much. If a girl positions her hands in a way to give the illusion that it takes two hands to jerk me off while she's blowing yeah. me, she wants me out of there. Guess what? <laughs> And she wants an Oscar. I'm going to give you an Academy Award. <laughs> she wants the best supporting. Yeah. She's like, and here we go. You're like, all right, fighting in a movie. <laughs> I'm the first Circle K manager to ever yeah. win one of these. I want to thank a lot of people, mostly some shady boyfriends <laughs> my mom had when I was a child. <laughs> thank you for calling in, Dana. Thank you, the vinyl seats of a Trans Am, for not giving me back burns. <laughs> yeah. Not a problem, but just remember, keep those definitions in check because it's definitely more personal for a girl to give a blowjob, you know, than it is for a guy to receive one. So I think that, you know, maybe girls are more likely to have a pity fuck, but guys are more likely to receive the pity beach. Well, I got a little confused there. Yeah, me too. I, I'm saying only, I, I think a guy... I think most guys have had more pity, have received pity. Like the girls, like I'm just going to blow this guy and get this over with. Yeah. Um. Then, then guys have had like been. I think the girl, like before, girl pity fucks. So probably try to see if she can pull off just the, the initial like the blow job. I, I don't know because I mean that you know that's putting the whole you know the thing like right in the mouth and that's right you know on your face and you can't separate from that. So. Maybe maybe that's your... Yeah, that cat noise in the back was hilarious. I got a, right feel, it's I got a feeling Dana doesn't give great blowjobs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's the cat in the background or... She goes... Mm. <laughs> These little buddy kisses. <laughs> mm. Anyways, when I'm really fucking going to town on a hog... <laughs> No match, but we, <laughs> um, so you're saying it's more personal for a girl to give a blowjob than a fuck. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, for real. So I think that you know is that guy true? Is, I think a deep makeout so. session is more like serious than either of those. Two. But, uh, Christine, your thoughts? Uh, I, I feel like you can definitely like disengage and disconnect more while getting fucked than while giving a blowjob. Okay. I feel like if you're yeah. giving a blowjob, like you just have to be like I don't know how you. So like, your heart's in it. You got to be in it. Like you kind of have. Like you can't. 
you can't just like lay back and you know let it happen. It's constant attention. It's like spinning plates on those yeah. fucking <laughs> on those sticks. Oh yeah, yeah. No matter what, it's like balls now. <laughs> 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 Keep that other one on the left, Coco. Grab my balls. Stroke my dick. Lick my tip. Well, that's a, that's a, that is a good perspective. That it's that it's. But disconnect. But on a on a thing, we're about how you want to feel the next day. Let's say it's like a one night stand thing, right? On how you want to feel. Would you rather blow a guy and have him come and get him out of there? If you were like, ah, I'm not really into this, or would you rather just kind of close off and let him fuck? Under the guys, I guess the thing with fucking is also you can go, maybe if I just kind of look away from it, like the guy <laughs> throws a good D, you never know. Yeah. You know what I mean? I've I definitely had girls. If I really like a guy, I'll blow him. But I, I think I've definitely had, I don't really like him. I think I've definitely had girls fuck me again on the first fuck. They were kind of like, yeah, I'll fuck this guy once or whatever. And then been like, I don't know, hey, that's fine. someone gets the, gives the D. Well, you you want to fuck me from behind a ton? Uh, yeah. <laughs> no. Okay, um, really nice talking to you. What's that? It was really nice talking to you guys. It was nice talking to you too, Dana. God bless. Thank you, Dana. Oh, bye whiskers, bye puddles, bye mittens. They're all my children. <laughs> the do you want to take babies. one more call or you want to take a break? What do you think? What do you think, Jacob? One more. Huh? Yeah. One, one more? more. Um, you say number one? You story. say line one. Black Lou says line one. Jillian? All right. Black Lou likes it. Jillian in Los Angeles, you're on with the bonfire. Crackle, crackle, fellas. Hey, you're on with Fart Box and Beret. <laughs> Dude. What's the phrase that pays? Everyone knows we're giving away $20,000 in a trip to Paris, France. It's Ow. Fart and Beret. Bullet oh. for my Valentine playing Irving Plaza this weekend. You just won VIP tickets. Oh, this is tearing me apart. <laughs> Jillian, what's going on? It says here in the notes that you've pity fucked someone and have been pity fucked. Yes, yes, both instances. So the, I'll tell you the one that happened when he sort of pretty fucked me, I guess, because I don't know why he did this, but he seemed really disgusted afterwards <laughs> and asked me to leave. Wait. <laughs> and oh, I met I met you guys actually at the show at Legion of Skanks show on um, here in LA the other day. So I actually screamed out for Dan Soder and reached out to him like he was the dad that ran away from me. Oh <laughs> no! And I didn't acknowledge you. Oh no! No, you did. No, you did. You did. You fucked oh, me. You oh, okay. Me. Oh, now hey. you're her, you're Gary. Hey, hi. My boy was just like me. And you're my boy. I was just <laughs> like. I'm gonna send you that birthday card in a week. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, so that happened to me. That was a few years ago, and I hooked up with this guy, and I guess he really didn't want to hook up with me. So I ended up, like, giving him a blowjob, and it wasn't that great. He came in, like, five seconds, and then he was like, you need to leave right now, and I can't talk to you anymore. Wait, that, what? Was, that wasn't pity fuck. That was, he just so, he made a decision that somewhere in his life, I don't know if it wasn't about you. That probably wasn't about you, like, ew, you. It was you in any sense of, like, my chick's gonna be home in twenty minutes. Yeah, or, he was cheap. Uh, it was, uh, that's, pro that's probably a cheap. No, that no, motherfucker no, was this cheap. Guy, this was in this was in college, and it was a really small school. So we, I knew he wasn't cheating or anything like that. I knew he was single. I was trying to go out with him. I like this was a full on pursuit on my end. Oh and yeah, then once that happened. It ended entirely. That was oh. a fucking done story. I was so embarrassed. He told all of his friends, who later did not speak to me anymore. Why? Yeah. Why? Because you gave a yeah. fucking rock solid beach in five seconds. I, I don't know. You were clocking hey a new land speed record. I don't why know didn't why. you tell all your friends that he came in five seconds? There you go. I don't know. That dude popped in my mouth like a gusher. I had to barely <laughs> yeah. bite into it. What was he? Thirteen? Yeah. Cool. I've had Can my dick lick before. He... Not. I'm sorry. We're nineties references. What were you saying? <laughs> It tasted so bad. I can't tell you. Like, I have not had, like, gum like that before. Like, it was just really roast jizz. Yeah. And gross I never, jizz. like, after that, I never. You should have said that. When, when all of his friends stopped talking to him, you go, yeah, well, your friends got sour jizz. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, guess what, everyone? The wow. la he's lousy with sour jizz. <laughs> yeah. Oh, why don't you guys talk to me more? Because you all come fucking Greek vinaigrette? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. You guys come tonic. 
<laughs> uh, <laughs> gross flavors. Do you guys all come black licorice ropes? <laughs> Is that the thing with you and your friends? You guys have to have disgusting cum? Yeah, I feel like you had a lot more on him. Yeah, you could have just yeah. fucking ruined that dude in college. Small I told college. you, a girl told me a story of a guy... They all know a, a friend of hers dated a guy, and that guy they all worked together. Mm-hmm. And that guy, when they were dating, liked uh, like you know because her friend she told him, uh, her friend that like the guy liked things of it like dildos like has a bag of them. They loves rammed up his ass. Then they broke up kind of shitty, and he's like <gasps> that's on this pub- show. Yeah. yeah, he's kind of yeah sure, but he's kind of publicly shitty too. And I'm like. Dude, that girl's got some real shit on you, man. You like, that's a be, weird thing to be dicky about at work. Yeah, it really is. That's a political. That's a political thing where you're like, I, for the the sake of my life, I need oh. to be nice to nice to this person. Yeah, I want to see what Jillian looks like. So I was, I, I'm sure I remember. Her. It was what a fucking amazing night that was. Um, I had I I met Christine as well, and I was hanging out with her and her friend. I was really rude when I left, and I forgot to say bye to her friend Megan um, outside. But Megan don't I, remember. The one that was. <laughs> hey, great news, um, Megan don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I was the one standing behind them in line. She told me that I looked really excited. Oh, um, I, yeah. Jillian, black, yes? yes. Boom. Yes. I remember Jillian yes. completely. Jillian, talking to Jillian after the show was when I realized uh, that Christine's friend was fucking plowed. Oh, that's great. Because she threw... Megan. <laughs> she, Megan threw Jillian under the bus so hard. Like, you never want to happen in front of someone you're a fan of and you're meeting on a, a, a normal level. Yeah. And she's like, wow, I'm such a big fan. She goes, she is. This girl's the coolest all night. She's been so excited. Like, uh, yeah, please stop sh- embarrassing all please of stop, us. <laughs> please stop it. Please stop it. You're making everybody feel worse. And that's when Christine, like, fucking headlock walked her friend out to the fucking street for the next 30 minutes. Uh, good call. <laughs> that's when I left. Mm-hmm. That's when Dan knew it was time to call it in, and it all went down before the guy peed himself and clunked his head on the ground. The ambulance took him out. I heard somebody clunk their head, and I was like, please tell me it's not my friend. <laughs> it was not her friend. Wait, what, really? Yeah. Absolutely. So, um... I remember Jillian. Jillian was a very, very pretty girl. Yeah. Who was this piece of shit who pity You want us you? to beat him up, Jillian? <laughs> no, thank you. He's long gone. I've never seen him Oh, he's him dead? Again. He's already I mean, in the I dirt? I never saw him again after that night. I never saw him again. Black Lou. Yeah. Black woman throws a blowjob on the first date. Guy comes in five seconds. Crazy news? Or is that World Star Hip Hop worthy? Oh, definitely. She should have went off on him. Hell yeah. See? Wait, was he a white guy? Yeah, he, he was. Very I white. don't know how he got the upper hand in the story at all. Racist. I don't like I him. I have no idea. I have no idea. I have no, no idea. And I was so perplexed for like weeks after that. Like, what happened? Like, I have no idea. And like you said, I'm not a bad looking girl. So it wasn't like, you know, I was. I wasn't really debating like well, the way that I looked. I was just like, "What did I do? Was it really that bad?" As a black woman, did you feel like his jizz tasted like wet dog? Mm, I've heard that. <laughs> I've heard that it does. I've heard it tastes like dog paw. His best uh, friend uh, is a black guy. I, oh, dude, well, I legitimately thought that was Jillian for a second because the way her phone <laughs> is reading on this and the way that that phone call is, I was like, "She does a perfect version of that drop." <laughs> that black guy. Well, and thank you. Well, she said she said she pity fucked though too. You've thrown it the other direction. Who was your pity fuck? Oh yeah, um, a few times, a few guys. You know, like I get picked up at a bar or something. i you know, I have not had the cleanest test, but I've gotten. But is up that? But again, I, that's my question. Is that pity fucking or is that? I think a woman will have that thing too. Do you know what I mean? Like I think I think it gets to a point in the Are evening you? where it's like a yes or no decision has to be made. Are you yeah. making margaritas? Or, or are you drinking? A, are you drinking an empty milkshake? <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think, tra- like you know, it works. <laughs> yeah, um, it just works one night, and then you do it, and then you're like, "Oh shit, I really shouldn't have done that." But that's that's more regret. That's not pity, Christine. Like, because you've had the feeling when when you were a drinker, a single drinker, girls also get the four in the mornings. Like, I do want to fucking get laid, and is there anything passable in here? Yeah, that's not necessarily pity fucking. I don't think yeah. mm-hmm. that's just lowering your standards because you kind of want. There's still something you want. I'm talking about the the action of it being like, well, the pity totally fucking... just like, all right. I mean, I don't want to make this person to feel bad at all. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah the like, I want to be. Really I hope I'd rather can come. fuck than hurt somebody's feelings. Yeah. And I've done both ways, and I've also, it's like, I have fucked because I didn't want to hurt somebody's feelings, and I haven't fucked because I don't want to hurt somebody's feelings. It's always better when you don't fuck somebody you don't want to fuck. Like, if you ever just drop down and pity fuck, like, it's in the long run, it's always better just to, like, hurt feelings. Yeah. 
Like, why do you want to have a bunch this, of sex you hate having? Because a pity beach really can, it gets confusing. You're almost just like, can I just get these? Can I just come to the store and pick this up whenever I want? It's better be honest. Christine will be like, I'm horny. And I'll be like, beat it, pig. Whoa. And she's like, what? I go, being honest. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's never happened once. I wish. I wish I had that kind of balls. <laughs> Keep you in line like that. Because <laughs> did he call Christine a pig? I go, dude, I, it's not my place to say something, but I think I'm going to have to. Because that seemed wildly You tell your friends, you go, no, Dan, she loves it. That's their thing. <laughs> it's their thing. It's their thing. <laughs> they they Go rubber. Their pigs. It's called abuse. It's called rubber band abuse. One of them snaps <laughs> on the other one, and that's how they feed off it. Me and Christine spit on each other a lot sexually. I always wonder if that's resentment. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, goddamn, that's so funny. Goddamn, that's so funny. I just the word love... spit on me has been said in our sex a weird amount. I love. <laughs> What's wrong with us? I just love that you've caught one before. You go. Was that one? An angry spit? <laughs> yeah. you shut your eyes. Like, I I you, oh, you had fucking Doritos for you. Didn't you go, oh, my God. What are you eating that bunches up your spit like that? <laughs> um, Jillian, thank you so much for the call. Yeah, Jillian, it was thank nice you so meeting much, guys. you. By the way, me and Dan both want to fuck you, so don't do anything crazy. Bye. Okay, perfect. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to take our second break. We'll be right back. It is The Bonfire. Real sexy edition, you know? And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Oh, fart box Bray. This is the best fucking party ever, man. Check out the chick with the cans. Oh, man. Look at the ham hocks on that one. I gotta go talk to her. You would love hocks. You would love fart box. He's so funny. <laughs> fart box? Oh man, Farbox is so cool. Farbox, you know, he broke the record in six of eight track and field events. Do you know that Farbox can kip up? <laughs> Did you know that? It's a bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Sirius okay. XM ninety five. I'm Dan Soto. That's Big J Okerson talking about pity fucking. Farbox says magnums are tight. Whatever. His last girlfriend died of pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> he said that he made her come too hard. And she died. <laughs> so he's going through a lot. You get it. He won best guitarist in the world. <laughs> he won best friend in the world, <laughs> given by me. Twelve times in a row. Guy you can never turn your back on. Guy that'll never take a girl that you want. Fart box. Oh, this is tearing me apart. What? <laughs> that was such a weird... Jillian was a very, very, very cute chick. Yeah, that was a fun huh? week, man. I didn't know someone pissed their pants and hit their head. Mm-hmm. Well, they don't know if they hit their head. They went down. The fucking fell out of their chair. Where? <laughs> At the bar? Right at the front bar. There and was they, the hottest girl. And they put him on a gurney? I, I saw the gurney. hottest girl with a boyfriend as I was leaving, where I was like, she was so hot that I was like, what the, who the hell are you? <laughs> I was you walking like through the brunette. <laughs> fan? Yeah, brunette. Fan? Smoking. I don't know. She was sitting at a table with her boyfriend. Oh. That was great, man. That was really cool. What a cool experience, man. That but was. it was an L.A. thing. We're like, in New York, you see a woman, you're like, oh, that woman is gorgeous. This girl's like, you are hot as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> it's like walking by, you're like, who are you? Are you perfect? Yeah. And then I had like, I, just, I was like walking like shook to my car down the street, like, oh, God. Then I just went and ate two burgers because I'm fat. The, <laughs> you ate two burgers? I had a double-double and a fucking regular, both animal style, and no fries, because fuck in and outs fries. They're garbage. They are garbage. Where'd you drive through for the fries? Oh, you know What'd you me. do, Dan? <laughs> What'd you do, Dan? I tried to go to McDonald's. Well, you're not going to tell us some wonky oinks. I wanted to get McDonald's, but then I, I put in my GPS and it was too far away, and I wanted the burgers. So instead, you end up going to 7-Eleven to get... No, I just had the two burgers. I had to wake up early. Nothing on the side. Well, I ate two <laughs> cookies that were in the hotel room. Interesting. It was a bag. You know what I did? I what? forgot I did this. They had a tray <laughs> with you snacks. I ate a little Asian boy. I, I killed a gay man and ate his skull like Jeffrey Dahmer. Uh, there was a, a bag of famous Amos in the hotel room. <laughs> yeah. And I, I took a bag of peanut M&Ms and dumped them into the famous Amos and shook them up and ate that. That's, That's what, genius. Thank you. That's what I had after my two uh, hamburgers. And a very powerful joint that our friend Samantha gave me that was uh, that I gave you one that was like dipped in uh, hash oil and then uh, covered, dusted in keef. So much. It's it's a lot. By the way, it was a lot that I smoked a little bit of in Palm Springs and I was like, oh, this thing's fucking whacking me out. <laughs> it was like making me just dumb. I was smoking it every time I went back to my hotel room because I had a 
balcony, and I would just get so high that I'd try watching Wild Wild Country and just wake up at 7 in the morning like, what the fuck was that? Those joints of those pre-roll with all that shit, t- it really is like... It's too much. Like they went into like... They put like a scanner on Snoop Dogg while he slept and like put his dreams together. Goes, oh, it's rolled into Keef goes, and then dipped in the oh, oils. Oh, for shizzle dizzle. That oh. joint looks amazing. Oh, oh, that looks mad dope. Oh, look at that. So, yeah, that was one of those joints where I was like, man, fuck all this shit. Uh, joining, joining us. us. Go ahead, Dan. You can. I feel like I interrupted you. No, you go, Jay. Joining us. Um,. One of the funniest fucking guys in New York City. I've known him for so long. Absolutely hilarious. He's going to be at the West Palm Improv April 5th through 8th. The Albany Funny Bone April 20th and yeah. 21st. And the Hartford Funny Bone April 27th through the 29th. Um, he is the hilarious. Paul Mercurio, everybody. Paul Mercurio. Hey, guys. Hey. What's going on? How Emmy you, Award dude? winner. And I. someone told me, Peabody? Is that real? Yeah. <laughs> what is the Peabody Award for? I it's the, the, Schumer got one, too, it's right? It's the Pulitzer Prize for Broadcast Journalism. Really? And we got really fucked up at the Waldorf Astoria where we got it. I was fucking completely hammered. Yeah, hell yeah. Because you're sitting at this table and, you know, it's everybody from The Daily Show and Jon Stewart and, like, the uh, couple of producers and writers and stuff. And then you're looking around and like, oh, there's Dan Rather. Oh, there's... Uh... And he's all fucked up? And he goes, hey, you pussies took my pee bottle. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'll see you guys next year. I'm going to hobble one of you fucks. What I... time the whores get here? <laughs> I covered Kennedy's assassination, you fuck. <laughs> now, this is Tom Brokaw saying suck my dick, Daily Show. <laughs> Paul wrote a segment called uh, Where Are They Now, Downtown Julie Brown. Yeah. <laughs> that was the one that got it. That's where the guy over the top. Goes, it was a probing interview where I made her cry by not talking to her, yeah. <laughs> not giving her any attention at all. What happened to her anyway? So, hey, what was the grind like? She's like that was Eric Nice. Wobble wobble wobble. I'm out of here. Wobble 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 wobble. Uh, that was the guy whose dad was also an NBA ref. <laughs> I think I think DJ Lou keeps tabs on her. What is going on with her? She works here. Oh shit! Yeah, what yeah. does she do? Uh, she's nineties on. 90s. Oh, she's doing the security. Building? She's yeah. th- she's doing security on thirty five. Yeah, she, goes, <laughs> she, the, she fills the vending machine. She goes, sir, I have to check your bag. <laughs> Let me go through your backpack. She works for Free Your yeah. name is spelled differently than on your license. They gave me shit downstairs because my name spelled differently than my license because I had to change the spelling because of the Australian actor. Uh, the fucking asshole. Wait, who? <laughs> Paul Who's, Mercurio, M E R C U R I O is how he's on my Yeah, name. I made life real hard for right. a guy over <laughs> stateside. Right. Just it's, land, he won a pee body. Exactly. <laughs> he was in Strictly Ballroom and Exit to Eden. That was that movie Jesus. with uh, Rosie O'Donnell was running around the tennis. Yeah, bring that's up Exit to Eden trailer. That uh, was, uh, that was, was um, fucking... Richard Dreyfus. I'll tell you, what was he in that too? I think it was Richard Dreyfus. It was Dreyfus. Richard It's Dan Aykroyd. And, You're uh, Dan Aykroyd. And uh, F- Rosie O'Donnell. I'll F- tell you what though, Rosie O'Donnell. I, Here's a trailer. Even in hindsight, it doesn't look good at all. But I just the fact that I knew that she was a comedian, and she did that scene and all that stupid leather like underwear and strappy stuff. Uh, it was beatable for me at that age. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Restarted. Weirdly, she's Restarted actually not that heavy in this. She's it, like not that. Gross. N- not like where no. Well, she got like mo- ultimate mom body. She was like still like she was young chub here. But how do you get a mom body when you're adopting? That's fucking... You gotta really exactly. work at it. You, you eat like, she you still eat. puts them in her? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. She goes, get in there. I'm gonna let you out. Oh. I adopt uh, young so I can cram them back up there for three months. I, I love wanna... Asians. They like their Chinese food and so do I. <laughs> what do I like? I like to eat like I'm pregnant. <laughs> She's like, put peanut butter on ice cream. You cutie patootie. You cutie patootie. Put that cutie back in this patootie. <laughs> <laughs> I like that we're trying to find a Rosie O'Donnell impression. So this guy, this is, while we're looking for it, this guy was, so I, I got a part in something, and my manager calls, he goes, you got a problem. I go, what? He goes, you got to change your name. I go, why? He goes, because there's already an actor, Paul Mercurio. I go, are you fucking out of he your calls mind? That's you crazy. He that's calls you crazy. up, he goes, yeah? <laughs> yeah exactly. Nuts, right? <laughs> Dude, there's a Daniel I Soder. I that's as, in, as unique as Jay Oker. I've never been worried about someone else having See, it. Okerson seems more... Com- oh Jesus Christ! Now they told. There's no way that's her body. That's Photoshop. There's no she didn't look that good fucking in it. way. Not that's a chance. Body. Um, if you're Dan Aykroyd and you're on your knees taking that picture, what are you thinking? At there's that point? the real thing. Yeah, there's a lot. That's steel. She could probably take a bullet with that thing. It's Gary Marshall, by the way. Gary Marshall directed. Keep uh, play the uh, play the trailer. We have the trailer. Beat hard to that. You really? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Detectives Fred Labery and Sheila Kingston. Sorry, I'm late. The two straightest cops in L.A. I gotta get a bikini wax. Ah, just stop telling me about that disgusting female stuff. Are about to be thrown a curve. I need you to go undercover to a 
a island resort. It's a place for S and M, B and D and D and S. M and M. They're going undercover to pursue an international smuggling ring. Is it bad? Magazines to study up on. In the last Can't place on earth, earth. earth, these the movies two should ever go. Have just changed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's whatever this. Is. Where your fantasy is our pleasure. This was edgy in the day. What does that smell? A head mistress of Eden, Mistress Lisa. Mistress Lisa? Is that Jennifer Aniston? Oh, man, I fucking loved her. I would jerk off. To, I jerked off to her. How did you jerk Even off? After. You had so many choices to jerk off in this movie. Would you movie? jerk off to the lamp? What are you talking about? I would jerk saying. off to the who, who else was there to jerk off to? With all those tits and bikini girls? Yeah. I know. I said the point was, though, I had already known her, at, not from doing stand-up comedy. I watched stand-up comedy always. Yeah, yeah. Up. And she was from, like, the MTV's Half Hour Comedy Hour. And yeah. And Evening at the Improv. Right. And Caroline's Dangerfields. Com- and I'd see her on those shows. And, and you I don't think like, oh. of a co- female comic in this context, and then you see her like this, and you're like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Again, it kind of goes back to what I was saying. To my, my insecurity and self-confidence has always been sort of low in that regard. So my, it, even at that young age, it made sense. I was like, oh, I could probably fuck. <laughs> if I was her age, I could probably fuck a Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to jerk off to the sexiest she can be. That's... Do you know how many, uh, what are those, like, Jugs magazines? And then... Uh, Oh, there was some other like Paula big, Poundstown. Big, there, did there was it some for other me. big girl I would magazines. Jerk off the Paula Poundstown. Yeah. Jay, look you at like the bush. You like a woman in a blazer. Jay, look at the bush. Oh yeah, I come just to. Dana Delaney Brown. showed Bush in that movie. Yeah, yeah. it was a big celebrity sleuth thing. Oh, didn't matter. To me. I didn't know that. Dan Delaney doing for me. I wasn't a China Beach. I wasn't a China Beach fan. Dude, I like Paul Mercurio's walking right to the TV on the other side of the studio. Mm-hmm. She's got perfect tits. They're not too big. Go on. They're not too small. Smell it. Yeah. Why don't you try to kiss it, Paul? <laughs> why, don't nose, why don't you put your nose on the screen, Paul? <laughs> Zap. Uh, yeah, there's so much. I, I was saying there's Dan so Delaney, much. I didn't, know from Ch- I didn't watch China Beach, so that celebrity Bush thing was not that exciting. Was this after, this was around the same time as, uh, like Vietnam I'll tell you Bush. why I didn't jerk off to it. It was it was too close to Ace Ventura, Finkel Zeinhorn. Isn't and she, in, Dana, isn't she? Dana, no, you're thinking, that's Sean Young. Damn it. Sean no. Young was hot in her day, but then she went batshit crazy. Batshit crazy. And Jen- kind of hard to jerk off to a fucking crazy. What she about was a dead porn star? She was a little elfish, though. Uh, Sean Young was a little elfish. Because there's a lot of naked of her, full bush, the whole thing. But she just, her, she was really? a little elfish. Yeah, a little What does that mean? Looking. I don't know. I'll show a picture and see if you get it, what I'm saying. Yeah. She Bring up like- uh, nude um, mm-hmm. Sean Young. Oh, you're going to take away Dana, you fucking asshole. <laughs> it's always there waiting for you in the oh, thing. Oh, there you go. I don't know. She seems... Elfish. That's oh, not, I see the nose, the hook on the good. nose. Oh, Sean, you're saying the face. Look at other nudes. There's definitely elfishier things of that. I don't yeah. even know what that picture's from. You're an elf. And don't type in the word elf. <laughs> <laughs> Sean Young elf nude. Trust me, you'll get something. Good job. There you go. A little bit. She's like she was always she, she had short hair a long time. That right tit looks like, misshapen. They're like they're not symmetrical. No. Well, it's you know, it's, it's like Puppeteer art. They have the, <laughs> the <laughs> strings that make them move. <laughs> you move. Pull it. it up. Pull it down. Pull it so, up. So, what was that movie she was in? No, with, it's oh, hard. against all odds. That oh, was a, yeah. she fucked a lot in that one. Look at you. I always look at Jake. Is that the one with Kevin? Approval. Is that with yeah. Kevin Costner? Against all odds is no James Woods, Nicholas. Jeff Bridges. Oh right, right, right. And what? Jeff Bridges, you're right. Thank you, Jacob. You're goddamn right, Jacob. Um. Oh, yeah, oh, Rosie O'Donnell, but my jerk to that one was definitely to Rosie O'Donnell. See, I, yeah. I mean, I get it, I guess, because you feel like she was attainable because she was a comic. It was that, and I said she was in the movie as far as getting any kind of like, she wasn't nude, obviously, but any kind of dirty or in that world. Mm-hmm. I just knew who she was the most. I used to jerk off to um, uh, her in A League of Their Own, <laughs> just because I liked her batting stance. <laughs> I jerked off to her uh, daytime talk show when they would do. Oh uh, uh, yeah, would they throw the Nerf balls? They would do new new Christmas products. I would try to come at crazy. the Nerf balls when she'd throw them at the end. <laughs> exactly. I think there. I think I had a legit beat sesh to Janine Garofalo phone sex in Truth About Cats and Dogs, possibly. Really? I, can I used to think that. she was like young, really cute. Yeah, I think yeah. she was actually pretty cute. Uh, yeah, Jean she Garofalo. is. Yeah. But she got skinnier. I th- I liked her when she was a little less. Like, Again, but really something about Truth About Cats and Dogs, I was like, oh, that's a girl. When I grow up, I'll probably get like that level cute <laughs> at my best. Yeah. And, uh, but she was cute. She was. No, absolutely. But I'm saying, but again, she wasn't like. Obvious. My my like my dream girls at the time. Keep in mind, were like, so it's like uh, Pamela Anderson and Melissa Milano. These girls that were like, 
I, 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 I didn't look at those as girls like I'll fuck that level of girl one day. I was like, I'll fucking Janine Garofalo. I, she was very cute. Yeah. I did Kathleen Turner in Romancing the Stone. Really? Yeah. I did I Kathleen Turner through. last year. Nice. <laughs> hey, like, what hey. are you doing? Yeah. All right, finish up and get the fuck out of my dress. Listen, Clean up, you pig. I'm an actress, <laughs> and that means I need to believe that you're coming. Uh, she's going to hey. get together with Robert F. Kennedy Jr., who's got that fucked up voice problem now. <laughs> I, I, you watch I, your ass, Sonny. Who do you think queefed? Who do, you think, yeah. who do you think queefed cancer into Michael Douglas's throat? Oh, Chris is there. I didn't even see her. Hi, I left Chris. a snail trail. Right. I, was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was looking straight ahead. Sorry. Pulled, Have you in your whole career ever fucked another comic? No. Well, wait. Yeah. Yeah. Was I can't Ellen, say who. Cause Ellen she's DeGeneres? Ma- I, I can't say. Ah, ma- <laughs> we have fun here. Uh, so, more tall. You, 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 uh, can't, you can't say? Yeah, he uses a newspaper. He will not let go of the newspaper when you're fucking <laughs> Son him. of a bitch. We get it. You do politics. No, I can't say because she's married to also a comic who's a friend of mine. Hey, but they weren't together at the time. But they since got together. I wonder if you even know who it is because I, I know like girl... And by the way, sweet people. It's not even a judgment thing on them. I'm judging as myself how I'd be able to handle that. Like, There's girl comics who have married guy comics where just always in the scene is like, Four or five other comics. She dated or something. Yeah, you know, it's, it's like, like working like, in a giant like, corporation, and you. Kind <laughs> yeah, of, kind of like, <laughs> I'd be tense just all the time about it for some reason. I think. Like, if, yeah, that's what it is. It's like you're working in a company, and you're like, you're but they're, fucking marrying Steve in HR. You know, yeah. you fuck Donna in sales. Right? <laughs> I'm on like, the same floor as he is. I got to move my office. You now. go. I just, it's just weird. I mean, I know you guys went at the Christmas party, and that makes sense. But there was a there was an awkwardness like. We hadn't seen each other, and then we did, and she was with him, and you could tell like she had this look in her eye, like don't fucking say anything, don't say anything. Was he the it. first one right after you? Um, That's a big thing. Too. I don't know if he was the first one, but he was like the serious one. In they were either about to get, it was clear that they were going to be together, and she had this look like don't, fucking, don't say, anything. dude, shut your fucking mouth, you motherfucker. And I just said to him, dude, she's got quite a twat. That's yeah. what I said, and apparently that, <laughs> that, that was me? the wrong thing to say. He goes, Paul. He goes, what's up, buddy? I see you uh, took in the outdoor cat for good. <laughs> yeah. huh? Hey, she's a good girl. She squirt for you. Yeah. She go. Ask them out for you, bud. All right. Anyways, they got finger foods here. I tell you what, we, I you know we weren't meant to work out because I'll be honest, she can only take half of my length. And it's like <laughs> I need a girl who accept it all. Yeah. Are you burying the needle? You say? Yeah. Oh, cool. cool. No, oh yeah. She also said she couldn't be around me because I made her uh, laugh until she cried. Right. So, but anyways, I'm sure you're doing well. I think her yeah. words were too funny. And then the rest was gibberish. Like she was laughing and she, she was laughed. screaming out, "Boy, this will never be as good with and then your name." <laughs> it's crazy. I think like your Conan set was on when we were fucking. Yeah. One time. yeah. She actually said you, she was thinking of fucking you, and then that middle joke about airplane food yeah. just—you lost her and fuck it. She said, "I will never fuck that guy." But you guys are back together, so look at that. Look yeah, how it's funny how right the world now. works, ain't it? Exactly. I think yeah. she just wants to have kids with you. That's all. <laughs> and then she's gonna move on. She feels safe. <laughs> I never uh, hooked up with a. Uh, not once. Contemporary. Not once. One of my contemporaries. In That's comedy, good though, never. because it uh, it just can be weird. Oh hell yeah! No, never. never you did. have right? Yeah, I dated Nikki Glaser. Right, and it's yeah. a, it's okay now. You, yeah, you we're cool to, now. Yeah. But there was a. How while. long did it take to? Oh, we had to have a lot of conversations. I remember you guys throwing plates at each other at the comedy cellar, but uh, I just yeah, thought that was yeah. Uh, That's just an old Italian way of fighting. Yeah, exactly. No! It took a lot of conversations because you couldn't understand her while Dan's dick was it's walrus what? tusking in her mouth. <laughs> oh! What are you doing? That didn't say, happen. I was going to say you couldn't understand because her pussy was in my... No, we can't do it the other way. <laughs> <laughs> I was catching a bit of an echo because I was yelling into her sneeze. You, you up? 10 a.m. to noon. Ten a. Make sure you check it out. <laughs> Comedy Central Radio, Series XM95. We're, we're channel mates. <laughs> How long did it take? Like a year or two? No, yeah, about three months. Did Pump you, and dump. Bump and dump. Did, <laughs> fucking turn them and burn them. <laughs> <laughs> Churn them out. Can't hold down a Rolling Stone. I gather uh, no moss. Yeah, but I haven't. That was the only one, and that was like, that's a pretty quick lesson in like, you're right, this is a corporation pretty much. Yeah. We all work together, and you're going to bump did into you, Were you tempted with anybody else, and you were like, you remember yeah. that, and you're like, fucking no. Well, I mean, I, my, ex, my ex-wife was a <laughs> comedy club. Yeah. Waitress at a point. My ex-wife was a comedy club waitress for a long time. Yeah, the strip. Christine worked in worked in comedy. Stand up New York in the stand. Yeah. Server to uh, huh? 
I said I was just giving everyone's credits, all your ex's credits, <laughs> from the Comic Strip Live. I'm saying it like it is credits. Uh, Carla was Comic Strip Live, <laughs> yeah. I think a, a little stint at Stand Up New York. She blew a guy at the creek in the cave in between serving. <laughs> <laughs> And then, she uh, don't blow no open micers no more, Paulie. She's changed. Oh, come on. I heard retards love the zoo. Yeah. I, uh, but no, I think Christine worked again. So, I mean, I've definitely not, like, gone she out of the staff. comedy realm. Yeah. Well, there's those, then there's those chicks, yeah. like, on the road, and it's, like, just... They, that's dangerous. That's it's too that dangerous. one. So, so we're, like, which is Columbus dangerous. Funny Bone, like, one weekend, there was this one chick, and she walks through, you know, that... that Big where the big bar area is, and she walks through to go to the ladies' room. I'm like, man, she's fucking beautiful. Then she walks back, and then she comes over and she starts talking. And then it was like, and you're just like, oh shit, this is too. I mean, there's tempting. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Since I stopped drinking, it's just really like I get done, want to say hello, say what's up to people, and then I just want to go home. Like I'm really like, I just want to go home and get high. I like to tie them up and then leave them. Cool. See what yeah. happens after that. <laughs> It'll be like fun spin. to let him figure it out. It'll be Go fun. Out. It'll be fun to be a character witness. Go out, get some more Sudafed. <laughs> Six years from now, I'm listening to this clip on a on a fucking court stand. No, going, Your Honor, I was just trying to be cool with the guys. I oh, know. that was fucking lies, sir. Man. Are you familiar with chemistry? <laughs> we were trying to keep it alive on the it air. It was a game we were playing. She was supposed to tell me when she couldn't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> she she never she yelled. Oklahoma. She said she had him blacked out all day. <laughs> Just one time. You going to do the new cellar in Vegas opening tomorrow? Comedy Cellar Las Vegas, ComedyCellar.com for tickets. Yeah, yeah. They asked, they tweeted out about it. Uh, Liz, Liz said, could you do a thing? Yeah, well, so I guess we're and, really breaking the fourth wall here, huh? Yeah, me right. and Dan did a, uh, a full blown. Um, okay, make guy, out. guy, make out sesh nice. for it. What did you do for it? Uh, <laughs> Hold everyone to that standard dude, now. Just, what did you go out of your way to do, Paul? He turns his phone screen to us. It's just him shitting on a newspaper <laughs> and snap, <laughs> with a Snapchat filter on. You're like, oh, there's us. Well, people just are getting after on. it. Oh, you guys, look at this. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm happy with dark lighting, or you would have seen me chub up. Yeah. Uh, let's take our uh, our last break. Our last break of the day. You can crank that up, Lou. We're hanging out with Paul Mercurio. You got some guns. You can catch his podcast, Paul Mercurio Show. You do. Well, only when the sun's out. He's got sexy arms. And the guns come out. Hey, that was fun on the podcast, the uh, SDR podcast. Oh, yes. We did that. That was a lot of fun. fun. Less nudity on this one. Mm. Unless. Oh, all right. (laughs) We'll be right back, everybody. It's the bonfire. Do you want me to go in front of you? Yeah. Uh, I know. Pick up pencils. Like this? Yep. Ooh, you guys yep. need a ball Ooh, holder. it opens. You need a cup holder right here. So yeah. I can, I can cradle my ball. No, not for this, for my balls. Like a little cup holder right there here. There is a little right, cup look. holder over there. Right there? Oh, there you go. I'll put my balls in it. Wow. So you showed me your dick, I'd take a look. Yeah, I'd you say it's ball sack with. We're going to be right back with more ball talk. Ball if you fire. showed me your dick, I'd take a look. They smell it. It smells like baby powder. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. To take our clothes off. Hang on, I'm just talking to Dan. To have a good time. Yes, we do, Jay. Oh, no. Jay, you can't we sing your way out of this. We can play NBA 2K it's all too- night. You can't. And drink some cherry wine. You can't. Uh-huh. You cannot. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> you cannot get out of this, Jay. I want you. Take your fucking clothes off. To get naked and waddle over here. I said poop in front of me. Go. <laughs> In front of me. It's the Bonfire Comedy Central Radio Series XM95. I'm Dan Soder. That's Big J. Okerson. Joining us, Paul Mercurio. You guys. Uh, PaulMercurio.com. He's going to be at the West Palm Improv this uh, Thursday through Saturday. And then the Albany Funny Bone, April 20th and 21st. And then the Hartford Funny Bone, the 27th and 28th. Go get tickets at PaulMercurio.com. And check out the Paul Mercurio Show on iTunes. Uh, Corey Feldman got stabbed last week. Oh, too bad. Quote, unquote. Quote, unquote. Um, and then they said they couldn't... He went to the hospital. They couldn't find a stab wound. And then they <laughs> then said, started saying it was a needle. Then he started saying it was a needle. And so now... now wait, I was supposed to say that the camper... It's the only place I've heard this is the is the fans, the campers. Yeah. On Twitter. Yeah. Early speculation that I... By the way, I hope is not true. I'll say for the record, I hope this isn't true at all, but I, I thought it was pretty good... I think I'm bad at that, like figuring out the end of the movie before it happens. Yeah, I'm terrible at it too. Yeah. Uh, I think I just kind of suspend disbelief and let them tell me what happens right. and follow it so you have fun. But people speculating, and it looks 
could be going that way, that he's going to use that as an excuse because there's no evidence of this attack other than him saying it happened and there's no stab wound. Is there any blood or anything? I don't think so, but no, there was no blood. Okay, don't you fucking, if you're going to make up a story and it's going to be stabbing, you go like fucking, you know, maybe I should have some blood. Maybe the story was to be a packet of ketchup. (laughs) Exactly, (laughs) something. I don't think the story was blown up too much because I think uh, some people are saying that they think it's because he's going to come out and say, I'm HIV positive, and that's the reason. Because well, you know, this guy gave it to me. So you're going to say, do you think that Cor- Fell Dog's going to come out and say he's got HIV positive and he can live with it? Campers have speculated that's a possibility, but and well, I agree. All, I would have never thought about that, but, but that's a H- very big possibility. But being HIV today, big, it's not like this big taboo thing. Why make a big deal about it? And what is going on? Have you to- seen his other life decisions? <laughs> yes, yeah. sure. wow. <laughs> well, he tweeted out today, as promised, I have a ton of new info. No, yesterday, 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 he put this out. Yesterday, he tweeted this out. As promised, I have a ton of new info that I need to share with you, W. God, the way he fucking tweets is infuriating. I will be putting in a new YouTube vid that I'll be posting at some point tonight. This is all very complicated. I'm working with my legal team and authorities to get to the bottom of all this. God bless. I mean, he really is. If you've ever had a family member that's just so overly dramatic mm-hmm. for attention, it's exactly what he is. Yeah. He reminds me of every time my aunt would like slip and be like, no, it's okay, but I think I'm, I think I'm really hurt. And you're like, no, you're not. No, you're, you're fucking fine. not. You sat down hard. Fine. Exactly. You're fucking, dude, you On want the couch. Yeah, you want attention? <laughs> there were giant cushions you sat on. Well, he, didn't he have like a sexual harassment thing going and then yeah, that, yeah. that just disappeared? Yeah, well. well I, I, they couldn't, statute of limitations and all of it. But he, he, oh, he, no, he, we were talking about him he being abused. Out, he threw out a him, name or two. Right. Where no, him being abused. So you want to read, read the second tweet? Oh, well, this is just, again, my apologies. Due to technical difficulties, the video has been delayed. I've been what? working on it all night, but I'm so exhausted. I'll I just, didn't hit start. I'll have to pick it back up tomorrow. My apologies. Sleep well. Technical difficulties? Are you telling me there wasn't another phone in the house or yeah, something? Exactly. I mean, what, My battery's what out. You, My film project is I, gone. What do you need? I was, does, does you go to an editing bay? For, no. you, you're supposed to just look at the camera and say you're fucking weird enough. I forgot to turn the light on in the room, yeah. and I can't see myself. Wait, why is he? What did he videotape? Fucking though? Tyrese That's Gibson big... had a full fucking meltdown in his house on a <laughs> selfie stick. <laughs> 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 Four camera shoot. I just want my baby. <laughs> there were seven nice. cuts. Christine, you bring it up for a second. I didn't even see it. I wasn't uh, here the day you guys were. I'm so happy times passed. Look at it now, dude. Why would you film this to put out for the world? Send this to your fucking wife or whoever you're upset by. You. What fucking more do you want from me? <laughs> Oh, that's, that's exactly the worst. what my mother would say. That to cry me. after you never seen Tyree Gibson meltdown. Oh yeah, that was it's fucking Fuck, it's hilarious. hilarious. But I understand why I put it out there. It's because everybody's fucking's got to be keep themselves out there one way or another. It's what, you know, it's all about that. It's like no, but he's supposed to be out there and like you know, hip. He should have a fucking like leaked dick pic come out before. It's like, right. uh, he's crazy. He's trying to get movie work. Yeah. Your fathers. <laughs> Jeez. You know, compassion is. To focus on. I think living in Los Angeles long thing. enough makes this happen. Maybe to you. he thought he was self taping for a part. <laughs> that would oh. be a great excuse for it. He should have <laughs> exactly. thought of. No, that's a uh, that's my <laughs> that was a that's role. my Oscar that's, that's my, my Oscar <laughs> clip for fast too faster and furiousist. <laughs> that's my I'm Law and Order SVU. I'm sorry. Audition. I'm sorry that I went so deep on character. Oh, yeah. Shayla is the main character of a new movie I'm working on. Right. Turn it up with Dan here. <laughs> Don't take my baby, please. Don't take my baby. <laughs> Not buying it. And he's like, next. Send. <laughs> Post. <laughs> next. Nice Wait, ring. so what's this about? His oh, wife is going to take his kid? Take oh his baby. God. It's like... Maybe she's going to take your baby because you're fucking crying you're on a video out. that you just posted. This is all I got. Is that a hoodie? This is all I got. Don't take my baby, okay? It's like that Steve Martin thing. I'm gonna leave. I, I, I've, been, I'm, I've been away from when, my you know, baby. Steve Martin leaves the movie like he's in a in. A, I all I need is this ashtray. This thing. I want my baby. All I got is this baby. No this mansion. No this Tesla. I'm not doing anything illegal. I'm not doing anything illegal, but yeah, I don't want nobody. That one. Jesus. Oh, I mean, my God. I, I feel bad for the dude, but it's also like, why would you ever send that to anybody? Yeah, yeah. fucking FaceTime Ludacris. Yeah. I mean, do something besides <laughs> dude, this. it's so funny if they show Luda. Uh, Luda should have done a video of a side uh, screen of him <laughs> in the bottom doing something else where he's like half distracted. And he goes, what's that, Tyrese? 
I'm sorry. <laughs> Go cry in the lap of Taraji P. Hansen's. Um, how did we get to the Tyrese video? Uh, people just filming themselves being absolutely... Oh, uh, what's his name? Corey, Corey Feldman. 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 People put their business out there. So, yeah, right. If he's war- warming the world up for a, a, a big announcement, like... All the spe- by the way, it works. It gets me interested, but it- but it doesn't. But it doesn't go anywhere for him. Like all, the, all like it's every six months he comes up with a scheme, right? And oh, we know we cover it every time right. he but, does. But then he doesn't turn it into anything. Like We're it's always- not like it, it. It's not like it is a payoff for him. It, well, but he thinks there is some sort of a payoff. And by the way, we you know uh, we have to uh, probably thank him at some point, give him some sort of award. He really comes up big for us on contract years. Uh, yeah. and, uh, <laughs> right, right during Sweeps Week, Corey Feldman always showed. Is there Sweeps, sweeps Week in Serious Radio, yeah. Lou, Lou, Jacob, no. Black Lou? Oh, yeah? Not like Advertiser Rush or Dan, some shit like Dan that? Dan calls him up. Hey, listen, it's Sweeps Week. Um, Corey, we'll send you a Serious XM hat if Corey. you... Uh, Bonfire shirt. I need you to you take a fall. Fuck and up. there's no. He's got no follow up to this at all. Shit in your mother's mouth and film it and yeah. say you didn't mean it. Is that there's? This is his last tweet. That's it. And that came out at four thirty seven a.m. So this tweet was at uh, I think ten p.m. Mm. And it says that he stayed up all night and at four o'clock in the morning. I guess it just wasn't ready to put out to the world. He's t- I don't have the finish on he's it. He's doing a tweet off with Trump. They're t- they're t- they're both fucking texting at the same time of the day. I mean, you think he's got someone who's a Christian Bale meltdown of him going like, "I'm just I'm trying to tell the world some information about the felt," and my- then you're walking behind the shot. <laughs> you're in my fucking eyesight. Hey. Hey, Courtney Angel, oh, do I yeah. come into your room and kick your clown bed around? Huh? Oh, yeah. What was that, Patrick? Uh, not Patrick Bateman, uh, Christian Bale, where he's like, oh, of course. Good oh. for you. Good for you. <laughs> the final, uh, here's the last tweet. The final thing I want to say about this is, in the small chance I was poisoned intentionally, I must react as if it is reality, because if I only get two months, I'm going to have to prove everything in that time. So I'll be making a major announcement on Monday and laying out my strategy. He th- he, is Do you see how like, crazy like, no, in, he in took depth it from, It's the whole Putin-Russia poison thing. That's what he's, he's, he's leveraging off of that. Like he think, right? It, it, it's like he, the, the fucking UK That's a really good spy. point. He saw that on the news. He saw and that and he goes, I can, Genius. I can say I was poisoned. No one can see that I wasn't poisoned. Two months, everyone will be sad, and then I'll find the antidote. I could, and the, and I'll only have those two months. But in those two months, I'll be what's tweeting two, every day. What's two months from today? Two months is uh, March, April, May, Ju- June to so June. June. So by June third, we'll know if he has AIDS. Oh yeah, I. Uh, oh yeah, oh, yeah. He's, I think we should start <laughs> doing tweets and oh, yeah. poison, oh, yeah. and then speculate who it was. <laughs> well, I, I, he just like he really does. Find a way to Corey keep Haynes' mom. Out there. <laughs> Corey Haynes like I don't know. He made a whole movie about my son being butt fucked by half of Hollywood. I'm telling you to him, yeah, really, him and uh, and what was the other one? Just like un- just make themselves so unsympathetic. Oh, and Rose McGowan, should... Rose McGowan, and Corey Feldman are the two people who are yeah. like I believe are victims, and you're just like I'm sorry, but. G- fucking you, fuck off somewhere, yeah, please. Like, you are so crazy. weird. Yeah, you are annoying the fuck like, out of you me. You are ruining this for other right. victims because exactly. you are not the right spokesperson, You could psycho. literally be getting stabbed, and I'd be like, you know what? Enough is enough. Did you, run into, <laughs> you burned did up she all run, your human capital yeah. with me. Did she run into the knife? What's the knife's perspective on this? But as a weird... All these things like major announcement coming. Like He doesn't have enough juice in any realm of entertainment or importance to major outside of him going like I'll tell you the third person Jim Carrey used to motorboat my butthole then you're like, <laughs> like wow. then you're shocking the world yeah. a little bit like Robert that. Redford butt fuck me <laughs> oh wow <laughs> it's just like a game Ro- like a-, a young Robert De Niro wants to use me and Hamster like mittens go, oh. he put a hand in each of us oh my god Academy Award winning <laughs> he goes Meryl, Scre- Meryl Streep used to suck my butt <laughs> oh my she jerked me off in the front, but pull it through my leg. Yeah, like like Michael Bowling. Jackson, wa- wa- <laughs> he make him stand in the corner with his back to us, like Blair Witch. We uh, we were trying to guess which major Hollywood people would really bum us out if they molested Corey. And if they like, molested Corey, yeah, if like they came out as like Tom Hanks, you'd be like, wow, or like Spielberg. Spielberg. Um, Who else would really bum you out? Uh, I was gonna. I would have said Charlie Rose, but fucking, we already know what happened to him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that would have been a bad choice. Um, Alan, Alan Alda. Alan Alda. That's a roughie. That'd Just America's little... great guys. John Goodman would hurt. Oh yeah. God, that'd break my heart. Um, if Roseanne. If the, if if any of these caught a case, <laughs> Roseanne herself. Let me see your dick. Come There's on. Guys, has there been so any, I voted There's for been Trump no publicly called out lesbian harassment, huh? 
at all? No, there was that one. There was one case with like a young singer. Yeah. How did it go? Wait, tell slow, Christine, and use an Asian mm-hmm. voice. Aaron Judge. Oh yeah. Not a Hollywood guy, but that would disappoint me. Is what Jacob? Is he insinuating that the hospital missed? Well, I don't the know. Knife I, wound and a well, needle wound. Well, he said. Now he's saying nobody it was a, seemed to. He's saying it was probably a needle prick, but I think whatever he would a hospital let him leave. I was no. fold, I was folding sweaters at the Gap, and <laughs> I felt a prick, and I was poisoned by. Well, they said at the Gap. He was riding a car with security. Yeah, well, they security. said it was needle prick. They would have given him something to. I don't know if you would tell from an immediate needle prick. Some <laughs> yeah, something. I just feel like he was like home the same night. Like things are crazy. I guess I'm waiting for test results. I mean, now. I really think this is just this is pretty clear. Sally Field. Oh man, that would bum me out. I if found she out she, yeah, that would be a major, Wholesome major bummer. Delta Burke. I always had something for Sally. <laughs> oh yeah, now Dixie Carter. Oh, oh, any, Del- any Delta of the Burke designing I women see. really. Delta well, Burke, I could see. She's yeah. a pig. She was bitchy too. Yeah, yeah. go bitchy, go in front of me. <laughs> I'm a sassy southern Sally Field. Uh, how about day, man? How she about rest hot. in How about rest in peace, the painter guy from Murphy Brown, Ald, Alden? What was his name? Eldon. 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 Isn't Alden? there some dumb black butler who talks really like hoity-toity in one of the bad sitcoms? Is it French, French Prince of Bel Air or something like that? Yeah, Jeffrey. Jeffrey. And he's not French. He's British. Oh, sorry. And you know what? The, wasn't Jeffrey involved in something? Wasn't there some scandal with Jeffrey once? No. Do not ruin it for me. I oh, have a man. feeling Murphy. there was some Jeffrey scandal. Uh, maybe what I'm about, wrong. What about Kevin Costner? Would that freak you out? If it were I Kevin? wouldn't care. Yeah, that wouldn't really fuck me up. <laughs> yeah. Some goodies, but too many misses for me to give a shit. Robert Pastorelli, who played the screwball house painter Eldon. On Murphy Brown. Right. Found dead in his house. Oh, yeah, it was a while home. ago. He died from drugs. So I was saying, rest in peace. It'd be I sad to hear it come out. That I it's can't like, make it through another Murphy Brown script. Goodbye, life. Well, guess what? They're rebooting <laughs> They're rebooting it. it. So if you would have held Are on. Are you fucking serious? True story. It, FYI. Coming who's back playing uh, Murphy Brown? Murphy Brown. The Candace Murphy Bergman. Brown. Candace Bergman. No. Yeah. Christine, are you looking that up? Uh, you know what this Roseanne reboot's going to do? It's going to bring all these fucking guess old sitcoms back. Oh, we were talking you about it yesterday. Did you watch it? I, you know what? I watched half of one on Sunday night. True thoughts? This kid, um, I actually respected that they were going after some touchy stuff. This kid, the nine-year-old kid, likes to dress in girls' clothes. Uh, the, he's got some transgender issues. I thought it was have transgender a, I thought it was it a lot. I thought it was a whole lot. To, to this one family, I'm taking it out of the realism of like, enjoy this family's life and laugh along with them and their sh- yeah. struggles and their love. Yeah. Because it was too much. I couldn't take it. Everything was too much. You're like trying too hard to touch on all the big social issues? A full black, half black kid. <laughs> yeah. Dude, there's no uh, way. A trans. Uh, everyone's mouth, though. I would love that Super kid political suck talk. My dick, that little kid. Oh, Whoa, yeah, that, yeah, that yeah. went dark quick. No, he's right. Uh, no, he's right. I wasn't looking at him, but that went pretty dark quick. Paul when I'm trying to read this Murphy <laughs> Brown album. <laughs> well, you know what? Uh, Murphy Brown revival set at CBS with star Candace Bergman and creator Diana English. It's saying that uh, it's coming back. A 13 episode series order. Revival of the 88 sitcom, uh, Bergen will reprise her role as a famous investigative journalist and TV anchor at F- FIY. I was Network. always a Miles yeah. guy. I she was Miles. fucking all... Loved old. Miles. She was wrinkly and fucking whatever when in Boston legal. God knows what she's going to be like now. She's uh, heading to work. So ridiculous to even bring that back. But... Uh, <laughs> I don't. I don't agree with you about the Roseanne thing. I didn't have a problem with it. What, what, I mean, what do you want? What are you going to have them do then? They're going to do this t- typical bullshit pablum sitcom storyline. No, but I'm, so we're just, saying just, we're just saying that it. there's there's like seven different. This this family's going to have transgender, uh, like all the stuff. Like it's all going to hit. Up. It's all going to hit in that one family. That's that that yeah yeah, that, yeah. That, that major t- political. It fight. immediately takes me out of it. Not I told one storyline about John Goodman's hair color. I love not yeah, one fucking gray hair. Doesn't in that guy's budge. Head. But I, I told Jay what what. Took me out of it with some of the promos where they had John Goodman, where they had Dan Connor not under. He was like saying that the Bulls of '97 would beat the Bulls of today, and you're like, yeah, of course you would know that. Yeah. It took me out of it. That's yeah. what we were saying is all that stuff took us out of enjoying Roseanne. Roseanne was good when by the end of the episode you're like, oh, it's actually a good point too. Instead of being point first, which is every fucking show on television. I think yeah. this isn't funny first. I think it's it's hammer home all these. Well, things I, you know, I saw time. half of one episode. I I just thought, well, this they got this nine year old kid in a fucking dress and like the whole. 
thing. Yeah, and then and Dan gives the kid a knife and doesn't tell him, and the kid shows him the knife, and it's like Dan's trying to make him be a boy. And there's all, so it was all believable in terms of whatever. But if if they're doing a lot of that, then maybe you're right. But, but I don't know. I, I, I thought again, they treated. I thought they dealt with it well. That one. My I opinion doesn't mean dick. I haven't watched it yet, and I'm a huge fan of the original. So I'm going to watch tonight and then see you know see what I what I think. See, I think it's bullshit that everybody's attacking her because she fucking is a Trump supporter and her character is I don't care I about that at all. It's I just, don't either. It, the problem is write a really funny script around that. Yeah. And w- with the capability of the people that I know were working on that show, you can write a fucking hilarious script instead of cutting out, and I pro- they'll never say it, obviously. Everybody wants their jobs fully, but and I've never sp- I haven't spoken to anybody since it's come out. But just knowing writers, I bet they cut out a lot of funny to make room for, like, here's this... P- this argument about Trump versus, uh, you know, Jackie versus well, this, this goes, on Trump, and it's just like it's just this it's, goes it to lacks the, fun. when you get big as a star, right? You gotta mm-hmm. you you're gonna give people's opinions about everything in fucking the world, and so she's using this as a vehicle, and so like half the people are like I don't give a fuck what you think about Sarah yeah. Gilbert, though I would jerk off to her. Yeah, yeah, she yelled up all right. She did. Yeah, not too bad. She got, don't get her pregnant. She only queefs out bitchy kids and fucking trannies. Um, Sarah Gilbert looking all 90s hot and old Becky and new Becky. Um, yeah, I mean, new Becky, really, winner of the day. Yeah. Pa- Paul Mercurio will be at the West Palm Beach Improv this Thursday through Saturday. Thanks for coming and hanging out. Dude. Yeah, man, it's a lot of fun. Sarah Gilbert and Rosie O'Donnell will be there. Yeah, they're all going to be hanging out. Yeah. Leather Albany, clad. Double hand job. Albany Funny Bone, April 20th and 21st, and then Hartford Funny Bone, April 27th through the 29th. Get tickets at paulmercurio.com, and don't forget to go to moontowercomedy.com to get tickets to the live bonfire, April 20th, Austin, Texas, at Antone's. What a fun Some show. Channel. Fun show. It flew. Thanks well, for coming in, Paul. Yeah, Thanks for coming man. in, Paul. That was fun, man. We'll be back tomorrow live. So, you know, don't shit your pants about it. Dicks. Yeah. We'll be right back. Why are you guys fucking freaking out? <laughs> it's the bonfire.